Hey everybody, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. For those of you who are new here, I am a reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have a really fun haul for you uh, from Savers. It's the follow-up video to my last video, which was ship, list, and shop where I listed some items, I pulled some items to ship, and then rewarded myself with a little shopping trip at the end to Savers. So what you're gonna see today is actually probably a combination of like four visits to Savers. I have the pieces that I got that day while I was thrifting, um, but I've also been to Savers quite a bit. For those of you who don't know, Savers is like a 12 minute ride for me. And so when I just have a short amount of time to do some thrifting, uh, my car's on autopilot, <laughs> my local Savers. And because their prices are on the high side sometimes, if I don't have a coupon, I have to be selective when I'm there. So I often don't go in and leave with like droves of clothes. It's usually like a few pieces here, a few pieces there. I found some really great pieces, so sit tight, I'll be right back. If I remember what I paid for a piece, I will let you know. In most cases here, I had a 20% off coupon, and yeah, there's quite a variety of stuff here. Um, I picked this up recently. Oh, and I also wanna say this worked out so well last time. Everything's listed. It was so nice in my last haul to have everything listed. People who had any questions could go directly to Poshmark and check things out. My Poshmark closet is at Lori Boston Found. It will be linked in the description below. I was excited to pick this up. It's just a utility coat, but it's a really substantial piece and it's in excellent condition and it is by J. Crew. It's a size large as well. It has a button closure or a zip closure, just like a nice weight to it, like a perfect fall jacket, I think. And it's in excellent condition. Um, I have this listed, I think in the 60s. There weren't many that were listed that were larges or that were this substantial. There were a lot more that were like hip length. This is a little bit longer. When you look at the tags on J. Crew pieces, you can tell what year it's from. So that always interests me. This is from holiday of 2019, so not an old piece. Um, so I'm pretty excited. I, I don't consider two years that old. One of these days that I was shopping, I was doing the rounds and doing the rounds and wasn't having much luck. Three of the pieces that I have in this haul were found like in the last round, you know, and it's kind of like your Hail Mary where you say, I'm just gonna do one more round, see what I can get, and then I'm gonna call it a day. I did a round and they just pulled out a new rack and they had two, the other one's in here somewhere, it's black, Patagonia, better sweaters. And this is the marsupial style, which is like the kangaroo pocket. And I love this like rusty red, I think it's called barn red, like new. This is a men's size large. These were on the rack for $8.50, so 20% off. I was so excited right on my way out. I was pumped for this. This is like perfect time of year for this. Great, great condition. Side by side on the rack. I was like, thank you very much. This is one of the pieces that I picked up in the last video. Um, I'll link that above. It was a really fun video. And people seem to like the format of it where I kind of mixed it up during the day where I pulled shipping and then I listed a little bit using Vendu. I did some cross listing and then at the end I went shopping. So um, I'll definitely do that format again. But this was in the dress section. It has these really fun arms. This is Free People. Uh, and if you look closely here, it's actually like a leopard print. This was priced at just $5.49 before the 20% off. This is an extra small but I would say it would definitely fit a small, you know how many pieces from Free People are oversized. This was another trip. This is also Free People. I loved the color of this. This is a size large. It's just this really cute crinkle mini skirt. It comes down to a little V in the back as well. Just a really cute piece. I think that was $5.99 or $6.49 before the discount. These were such a good score and I definitely paid up for them. And it's not a brand that I typically get excited about, but these are really special. These are Sam Edelman ankle boots with this knitted, like ribbed knit right here. They are new without tag. I paid $16.99 before the discount. These are still on the current website. In my last video, I was talking about how I'm seeing more interest in my closet on my lighter shade boots. 
And so I was really happy to find these boots, especially in the condition that they're in. These are absolutely gorgeous, well worth the money that I paid. You'll hear that a lot of the pieces that I picked up are a little bit higher than that $5 mark that I usually spend. Um, I've been trying to hold out for pieces that will really give me a good return or that are a really good price. So I wasn't afraid to spend a little bit more on certain pieces. I loved this set. This is a Torrid set. It's so beautiful. Okay, so this is a maxi skirt and this is a size 1X. And I love the colors in here, like a deep, deep turquoise with some tan floral pattern. And then the top has this off the shoulder. I mean, we're a little out of season on this, but I just loved it so much. Off the shoulder like this, so, so cute. It's a size 1416. But what's great is that this was new with the tag. The tag was on. So this set retailed for $95. It's a 1X. There were two of these. One was priced at $10.99 or $11.99 for the set, and the other was priced at $16.99. I didn't want to buy both sets because I just wanted to see how this one did. What happens with Torrid in me, and I would love to hear how Torrid sells for you, Torrid tends to get a lot of attention, like a lot of likes, a lot of shares, just mostly a lot of likes on pieces. And it takes some time to actually sell it. Uh, and I don't, I don't know why that is, but I have this pattern with Torrid where things get a lot of attention, but it takes a while to sell and they don't always sell for a high dollar amount. I just thought this set was special, so I went for it, but I'm pretty selective when it comes to Torrid. Um, I have sold this shoe before. This is a good comfort brand shoe, really great quality. I would consider these also new without tag. It has this Velcro clo closure in the front. Um, you know what's funny is I still can't tell if they're navy blue or black, um, but I think, I think they're black. I paid $14.99 for these before the sale. So definitely, again, something I paid up for. Um, so with the discount, I think this was only a 20% day. I paid $12 for these. I have them listed in the $60 range and hopefully they won't sell for less than 50. These are a size 41. They're gorgeous. I also think these could work in the fall you know, with denim, like a raw hem denim straight leg jean and any one of these nice, rich jewel tone fall colors would be beautiful as an outfit. So loved those. To be completely honest, I don't know if I've ever hauled this before. This is Free People and it is a size two. Have you guys ever seen this in any of my hauls before? I couldn't remember. Uh, I have bags going downstairs for hauls. I have one bag from my honey hole. I have one bag from a recent trip to the Goodwill outlet, and then I had two bags for savers. I'm certain I bought this at savers. I'm just not sure, sure if I have shown it in a haul before, um, but it's a really cute cream color, and it has like some textured fabric. Brocade, is that the word I'm looking for? I don't even know. Couple skirts, couple free people pieces here. Um, I got these Levi's jeans. One sec. I got these Levi's jeans and uh, I, again, I think these were $10.99 before the discount, but they're 501 XX. And I thought they were very unique looking. These were in the men's department. They were made in Mexico. If any of my Levi's experts wanna weigh in, feel free. These are like brand new. They don't look like they've ever been worn. These dogs just can't make up their mind. They are in and out of this room a hundred times. And I always notice it when I'm filming because they're so loud. Um, so there's the tag. I'm pretty sure these are vintage. They're hundred percent cotton and they were a pretty unique color. So my good friend Hope from Racks to Riches, we have like a little group chat going with a few of my reseller friends and I showed these jeans in the group chat. And I was like, I don't know if I made a mistake buying these and Hope did some research on them. I haven't researched them yet, but thank you, Hope. And um, saw some comps for $100 on this style brand, that 501XX. So I'm not sure where, they'll, where they will end up selling. I'll probably list them around 75 and see how they do. Those aren't listed yet. So before this goes live, I have to make sure I get those listed. Um, more free people, what the heck? Another free people skirt. This is so adorable. It's got that high rise paper bag style at the top. This is tiny. 
This is a size two, same as the cream colored one. Just a cute denim, distressed, almost has like a little bit of a tensile feel to it too that's probably blended in there. And this would look really cute with like a fitted rib to like maybe a rib turtleneck and um, maybe even some tights for the fall. Really cute, I don't know. Is that a thing? Do people wear tights with denim? Probably not. Is this a third love bra? It is. So this is third love and this is a great brand to sell. I have another one that's downstairs. I do a podcast with my friend Daniela and we have a Patreon group and we meet with our Patreon group via Zoom chat once a month. And so in our Zoom chat this week, we were laughing about something and we're talking about underrated bra brands. And so we did like a bra challenge within our Patreon group. So I felt like the need to pick up some bras and list them. And I think I already had this at the time, but I made sure I listed it and I have a couple more that I wanna list today so that I can get in on the challenge and pull my weight over there. If you guys are interested in the Patreon, definitely check out our podcast at Thrifters Villa and we have a link for the Patreon. It's only $5 a month and we have a Discord where people chat all the time. And um, we also meet with our Patreons once a month via Zoom and we have a download, downloadable, printable sort of thing every month, as well as our Patreons get early access to our podcast, which premieres every Monday. Is It's released every Monday. So a little Thrifters Villa plug there. Okay, these are some Everlane jeans, really cute. What's nice about this is I think because I've been like piecemealing it, it's been a lot of nice things because I, you know, I, I didn't do it all in one visit. These I don't think were much at all. These were like four or five dollars. I don't think that Savers has really caught on to Everlane yet. So hopefully no Savers price markers are watching this. No, <laughs> this is a smaller size, a very small size. I can't find the size. Okay, legit can't find the size on these right now, but it's getting dark. It's a really rainy day here today. Um, but these are a cute black denim button front. I just wanna make sure all of my buttons are there. Yes, they are. Um, they're a bit of a skinny leg, but not that like stick to you skinny leg. Um, but Everlane's a great brand. I love picking it up. I love selling it. Okay, this is a skirt that I'll be sending to The Real Real. I do have a few pieces heading to The Real Real. This is designer Robert Rodriguez. They actually did a collab. He did a collab with Target way back when. I remember buying Angie a dress. I think she was in middle school. But this is a really cool, I believe this is a skirt. But it has some really interesting panels on the back. These Stuart Weitzmans I picked up to send to the Real Real, and these were $14.99 too, so 12 after my discount. Um, but I thought these were really nice. I feel like a lot of the Stuart Weitzman I find are just super outdated. I love this knot on the top with the little mini studs and it's a wedge heel, but there is zero wear. These are basically new, not in box, not basically, I say that all the time, basically new, because you never really quite know when you pick things up secondhand, but nobody has ever worn these shoes. These are brand new. Um, so hopefully I'll do okay. My last, I have, I think I've been paid out twice on the real real. Uh, one pail was $34 and for a pair of shoes. And then another pair that sold pretty high, but they got returned. I think I had another payout in that $30 range. So I was thinking at the very least, I'll double my money on these. I could definitely list these. Yep, for those of you who are curious. Um, but I have so much stuff right now. I'm really trying to move th through things a little bit faster. And if that means taking a little bit less of a profit by sending it to the real real, but not having to do any work. That's what I'm going to do with certain pieces. Um, this is another brand that I love to send to the real real, and that is Lafayette 148. These were like 649. They're just a nice pair of ankle length. Uh, they're, they're a really nice fabric. They're a size 12. They're called the Stanton. Um, so I'm gonna send these as well. These I think I got for like $5. So those are the three pieces that I'm sending to the Real Real. I'm gonna keep those separate. Oh, and this is probably the winner of the bunch. And I featured this in my Instagram stories. This was another piece that I got after kind of a very modest trip. I was at the Savers in Framingham and I went on a Saturday night. I got a wrap dress from Soft Surroundings and I got a black J. Crew blazer that I'm sending to Ange. But at the very end, I found this. And 
My husband was making fun of me saying that it looked like a WWF belt. He's not too far off, but no, this is gorgeous. And the designer is Judith Lieber. I've never found her before. Where's the little, there we go. Lulu, no barking. So Judith Lieber, uh, and this is an adjustable belt, which I think is so cool. Like you can just slide it like this and it makes it tighter or looser. Sorry, we have a delivery truck here. I'll be right back. This is an adjustable belt, which is so nice. And I can't tell you the last time I wore a belt, but I put this on my waist really high and I had like a white, just a plain white t-shirt with a black cardigan over it. And I cinched the cardigan and I put this way high on my waist and I'll tell you, it was stunning. I wanna get out of the frame so you can really see the detail. My ring light is right here, so it's gonna th it might throw things off a little bit. So the clasp just goes like this. It just separates and it's two little hooks. And this is the side angle. It almost looks like little onyx right there. And then let me just turn it in the detail here. This is so stunning. You can see how heavy it is. It kind of caves in on itself when it detaches. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. And this is also something that is sold at the Real Real, but I'm gonna try to sell this on my own. And a lot of these are listed at $195, $175. You know, you have your whole range. I'm looking at similar ones, $199, $80. Somebody has a vintage belt. I'm sure this is vintage, priced at $200. Someone has Judith Lieber Gold Semi-Precious Stone Chain Belt, $715. Now the listings we know don't mean a thing. Um, it's the solds that matter, right? So I would say comfortably people have these belts priced anywhere between $60 and $715. I would say the average price being around that 175, but there are a fair amount in the um, you know 60 to 80 price range. So I don't know where I'm gonna start this. I do think it's very special and it is adjustable as it looks like many of her belts are. I'm just gonna look at some of the solds really quickly. 99, 190, 100, 233. 65 and 225. So, you know, you never know. Maybe it will sell in that upper range. So I'll probably start this at 199 and then go from there. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely the pick of this entire haul. When I first started selling on the Real Real, I thought that they accepted uh, Ellie Tahari. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous blazer. Um, I can't remember what I paid for this, but it has this like metallic-y threading through it and it's black and it has leather trim around the collar. It's just a really gorgeous piece, but they don't accept it. I'm going to attempt to sell this on my own first, but then it will probably end up going to thread up if it doesn't sell for me. It is a size small and it has just like a zip front, Ellie Tahari. Um, I'll probably list this on my own around $60, $65, depending on comps. I haven't looked at that one. That's another one I have to get listed. This is a Lucky Brand cardigan. I don't think this one is going to last. I've gotten a lot of attention on it. I love getting Lucky Brand sweaters in and the boho style tops in plus sizes. It's like one of my bread and butter faves to pick up. And this is a size 3X and it's in great condition. Oftentimes when I find Lucky Brand sweaters, um, that have been around for a while. There's a lot of pilling under the arm, so I pass. This is in excellent condition. I just think it's the perfect season. It's cozy. I think this would work on like 1X to 3X, depending on how you like it. If you like it a little bit slouchy, people can size up. This, uh, I think this came out on the same rack as the Patagonia that I showed you earlier. This is a North Face Men's Large. And I love these like kind of hiking style shirts that have like the ventilation built in. This has some zip pockets. Um, just, I don't know. I like selling North Face for guys, especially. Size large, we'll see how it does. It has the North Face emblem right here. I don't know. It's been so long, I don't even know what I'm pulling out. Oh, this is the other, is this, oh, this is the other Patagonia. So I got the same one in black. I think I have this priced in the 60, high 60s or low 70s. I have the red marsupial better sweater priced at $79 and it already has five likes. It hasn't been up very long. Um, this one I'll probably price just a little bit lower because it is black, which I think is a more common color. 
Um, not by much though, maybe $70 I'll price it at, uh, but I suspect those will sell somewhere between $50 and $60. This I picked up because I thought it was a unique piece from L.L. Bean. I don't know if I want to try it on, but it's cool. It looks like vintage L.L. Bean. And it was only $2.99. And I could picture this on a man or a woman. I just think it's so cute. Um, it doesn't really work with my top, but I think this would be really cute. Apple picking with, um, you know, like a cozy, chunky sweater and some jeans and some tall boots. I just thought this was really fun. And so I went for it. And it's wool and it's vintage, made in Freeport, Maine. I thought it was really cool. I'd probably list that around $30. Next up is this great Dooney and Burke purse. Um, they had this priced at like $3.99. Once again, savers, you never know what you're going to get. They'll price Vera Bradley at like $15 and this was priced at $3.99. It has one little mark in the front, which I thought I wiped off, but it came back. Does that ever happen? This tiny little mark here in the front, but it's a great little tote bag in this taupey leather, pebbled leather. I have a new appreciation for selling Dooney. It's another uh, brand that was very prevalent in my estate sale buyout. And I've sold a lot of pieces from Dooney and Burke, so I'm excited to sell that piece. Probably sell somewhere around $40 or $50, and I paid under four. All right, we're getting to the bottom of the bag here. This is a Kate Spade wallet. This was priced really low. Um, I think I wanna say I paid like, I don't know, three or $4 for this. It's in excellent condition. It has like the little polka dots on the inside. And yeah, I, I like selling, I like Kate Spade wallets. I like to sell them. She doesn't always do so well. The clothing for Kate Spade I pass on and I, I would not have picked this up if it was even like $10, but it was really inexpensive. So I grabbed it. This is a men's scarf, which was beautiful. And it was right at the register as I was leaving. Maybe it's women's, but I think it's men's. It's coach. And this was priced really low. I think this was like $3.99 or something. And I love, love this. It has like a little, um, I don't know if it has a chevron pattern, um, but just a real beautiful basic and high quality. Definitely some wool in there, although I couldn't find fabric content on it but it's gorgeous. This is listed too. This turned out to be a nice little haul between all the different things that I picked up. These are a size 32 uh, Levi's Skinny 7-Eleven, which I do like to pick up for the right price. My guess is that these were under five or six dollars. Otherwise, I probably would have left them behind because a lot of the Levi's are marked up. This looks to be a mid-rise though, so I don't know. A high-rise would have been better, but I do like the distressing. 32 is a great size, so that should move. I also got these Madewell flats, and there's the Madewell, you can see. They're just this really like a burnt orange suede, and they're so cute. I thought these were awesome for the fall. These would actually look pretty cute with this. And these jeans, I mean, you know, I'm feeling a little fall vibe coming on here. Adorable. These are a size nine. They're in good condition. They, they're a little misshaped, so you can see here. They need like a little pop up, but just like a little foot in there would bring the shape right back. But very little wear on the toe. Maybe a teeny tiny bit of discoloration here, but really great, adorable. These are already listed. I can't remember what I priced them at. Oh, this is definitely in the wrong bag. This was for my thread up bag to go. Um, I have a Zara dress that I want to show you. I'll be right back. I had to go downstairs and retrieve a couple things because I had already packaged them up and I was like, where is this item? And then I remembered. They're already packaged up. I thought this was really cute. This is a dress from the label Lulu's. Just that. I love that it was just kind of like a little slip dress. It actually looks like a little nightgown, but um, this is really cute. And I thought it was adorable. It's lined. It is a size extra small for like a little formal, semi-formal occasion, cocktail party sort of thing. I like Lulu's dresses. They don't sell for a ton, but they, they bring some attention to my closet, so I carry them. This I really loved, and this um, I bought the same day that I got the Kate Spade red wallet, and I thought they looked so cute together. 
Sorry, this is like loud. This was also priced very reasonably. I want to say like $5.99, $6.99. Um, and this is a Zara dress. Oh, I wish this was a large. I'm obsessed with it. It has all this embroidered detail, floral, very lightweight. Um, some people, again, wore this as a dress. Some people wore it as a tunic. No matter how you wear it, it's freaking great. I love it so much. Uh, this is Zara Woman, and it is a U.S. size small, and it's just so cute. One of my favorite pieces. Isn't that just adorable? Um, so I do have this listed. It has some pleating in the front, and yeah, and that is it. That wraps up this fun haul from Savers. Like I said, it was probably four or five visits. I'm sorry that I don't have like big totals for you or things like that, but it was just a hodgepodge of grabbing things at different times. I do remember this was $9.99 and I got 30% off of this. So maybe I've shown this to you. I apologize that this was kind of all over the place. Um, my next video, I think I'm going to do a Q&A. I got over 25 questions, so I just don't know if I should break it down into two videos or just do one really long one and just people can come back and view it at different times. Let me know if you would rather two videos or one really long video that um, can put you to sleep one night. <laughs> just let me know. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. I usually put out two videos per week and I have some great hauls coming up as well. I have my Honey Hole haul and a Goodwill Outlets haul coming. Um, Come here, you go. Say hi to everybody. You've been a freshy girl today, huh? You've been in and out and in and out. How many times did I have to stop for Lulu? She's a fresh girl and she's soaking wet. She just came in from outside. All right, I'm gonna dry off everybody. I will be back soon. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.